Hello there. Having installed a game you are anticipating, you probably want to get it ready ASAP to play it and enjoy the experience. If it involves installing multiple mods, a typical person will install them, play it and move on to the next one. That's how I did with most of the games, including my Fallout New Vegas with 272 mods. For Skyrim Special Edition it's different for me, as the scene is dynamic, new mods come out, tools undergo rapid development and better Tesla is forcing updates that require me to constantly tinker with the instructions I provide uh, to you in the Tuco guide. Of course, this is my challenge. You might equally well install the mods as they are with current tools at hand, play it through and move on. I thought my mission of maintaining the guide is a great opportunity to show you how to update the tools and mods on the way if for whatever reason you need to do it and the process seems daunting. Looks like there will be around 10 short videos showing the updating process for all the tools I use. There might be even some more videos on updating the mods later. We will start with a brief recap of manually updating Mod Organizer 2. Have fun! The current state of the game is EXE version of Skyrim 1.5.50. Now I will prepare my game to be able to run and to perform well with the current version of Skyrim Special Edition. I will start with updating Mod Organizer 2. I will visit the Discord of Mod Organizer 2, go to the builds part, the builds channel here, and get the latest version of the 2.1.x line, which is 2.1.6 dev build 2 currently. I click this link here, full build, to download the latest version. The file has downloaded, it is over here. So now in another data browser window I navigate to where I have my Skyrim SE Mod Organizer 2 installed and I select everything with Ctrl A, then I click Ctrl and hold it and leave out profiles, overwrite mods and the Mod Organizer INI file. And if you have your downloads here in this same folder as well, then you might want to unselect downloads as well. While holding Ctrl and clicking on the directories, they will be deselected and selected if you click them again. So I leave out mods, override profiles, Mod Organizer INI, and if you have downloads here, remember to keep them as well. And then when the correct positions are selected, so most of them, I click delete. And I'm left with my files here. Then I open the zip file with the current version of Mod Organizer uh, development version. I select all and I drag it here. I can close the zip file and this way Mod Organizer has been updated to the latest version. You might want to check um, a few files like DLLs and EXE files if they haven't been blocked uh, in the process by Windows security features. To do so right click on an EXE file, go to properties and see if there, um, if there is a button to unblock it over here. In my case no files have been blocked from execution so I can now start Mod Organizer using the same link I had before as it's pointing to the same Mod Organizer.exe file. So let's start it. And as you can see it works fine with the new version 216 pre-alpha. You are still fine to use the Mod Organizer version that I am pointing to in the Tuco guide that is on the Mod Organizer 2 page. Let us have a look at that. Mod Organizer 2. Get the latest standalone version. I need to update that to 215 or get a development version from Mod Organizer Discord as I mentioned. Let's see. Open the page. This is the latest stable version on the Mod Organizer 2 Nexus page. Go to Files and you will see 2.1.5 version available for download here. You can choose the installer or archive. I'd rather go for the archive and manually unpack the files to my desired location. I like to have control of what I'm doing and the installer is just automating that. So there we have it, a full Mod Organizer update. Let's get to the next one, the loot update, so see you in the next video.